Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. How are we all? I hope we're all doing well, keeping well, and I hope you're ready for today's video. Um, should we just ignore the dry mac in the background? I have officially got a new tumble dryer. I can hear you all cheering from here. I've been moaning about that for the longest time ever. I officially have a new one, thank the Lord. But um, those jumpers, I felt that like would get ruined if I put them in a the tumble dryer. So now I actually feel like this is quite a good idea and my clothes don't end up as creased. Anyway, today's vlog, what are we doing? I'm about to go shopping. As always, I'm in a rush. We've booked a brunch for 12 o'clock and it is about 11. But before we go to brunch, I need to take something back to the shops. I'll quickly actually show you what I bought from um, Loewe because like, I'll show you them in a minute because that's what we're going to take back. I missed the cutoff date to send them back. Very annoying. So yeah, we're just going to have a day out shopping. Um, I haven't been out like shopping in London in a fair amount of time. So I'm very much looking forward to it. This weekend is also Halloween. Like you are actually up to date with my life. And I think a lot of you will be asking what happened to the Paris vlog. Guys, I let you all down with that. I know a lot of you are going to be sad. And I'm also really sad with myself. But I vlogged along that trip. Because most of that trip was work and we spent most of the time shooting. Oh my god. Oh my god. We just bought Halloween costumes. That is so weird. That mask is so good though. Oh, we're going to a Halloween party tomorrow. And um but on there, did you have you got the other costume? Put the other costume on. Yeah, we're going to Halloween. No, tonight we're going to Halloween. Yeah, I help you. I help you. We're going to Halloween party tonight, so we are um, trying on outfits. Anyway, yeah, I let you down with the Paris vlog. I'm really sorry. We worked the whole time and just didn't have time. Like, it just wasn't really that interesting to vlog. Do you know what I mean? I spent, I spent like, basically the whole time carrying bags around, and I just really let you down, didn't I? But I did buy some things in Paris, of course. So, in this vlog, I'm going to show you what I bought in Paris. If I have got any footage from it as well, like different restaurants we went to and stuff, I will kind of slip that in when I'm doing the unboxing. But today, we are shopping in London. We are having a proper, like, London vlog. And then, of course, there'll be an unboxing for whatever I've got. Anyway, let me show you my outfit and also the things that I'm taking back. Okay, so this isn't the best angle, but let me show you. If you actually follow me on Instagram, you'll know what I got. But I made a order on Loewe and these are something I've had my eye on for ages. I was on a waiting list for them and um, they came in stock and I rushed online to buy them and they are the monogram, no, 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 anagram, that's what they call it, the Loewe anagram jeans and I love them. However, look how long they are. Like you're not going to be able to see. They're the length of my body. Like, they're so, so long. These are a size 8. I originally bought a size 10. And they, like, my dad could wear them. Like, literally, they are absolutely huge. I was debating getting them altered. And then I thought, they're actually just too big to even alter them. Well, probably not. But they, they just, they come up, like, to my boobs. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, these, as I say, these are the smaller pair. So I ordered the 38 to start with. They turned up and I thought, God, they're way too big. I'm going to see if I can get hold of a 36. And I did. And then when I went to go and send the 38 back, I was going to, I'm sending them both back anyway. In a way, they only have a 14 day return policy, which I feel like is a little bit tight, to be fair. Uh, I don't know. I feel like most places do 28 days. And I'd missed the 14 day cutoff. And now I'm stuck with these jeans, which I'm so fuming about because they're blooming expensive. But I do have a positive about it. And it's the fact that I emailed Loewe, like the customer service, and they said, I can't return them, I can't get my money back, but I could take them to the store, so there's a store on Bond Street, and do an exchange or get a credit note. So, as I love the brand, I'm sure I'll find something I like, and if not, I'll get a credit note. But it's still kind of annoying, because I would have much preferred the £700 back. Oh my God, this is the Cousin It one. No way, let me like video it properly. I feel like the clown looks scarier. This, this looks a bit of a mess. This is like Cousin It from the Adams Family. This is the boyfriend reveal video. <laughs> As I was saying before Cousin it interrupted me, <laughs> this is my outfit. I have actually just got changed. I was going to wear my Zara Gilet, wherever that is. I think it's in the living room. Um, but I feel like it's just going to be too hot. The weather is strangely warm right now. Like, it's the end of October. It's like 22 degrees. What is going on? 
Um, so I have on my Zara blazer. You might have seen it from my last Zara haul. Didn't really want to keep it because it was really quite expensive for Zara. It was like £160 or 140 something along those lines. But it's a really nice blazer, so I kept it. Then I have on... Oh my goodness, a bottle of water behind me. I have on um, my Arquette cashmere jumper, which I also have in beige. I have on just a white, very creased t-shirt. My naked fashion jeans. My New Balance 550s. And then I'm going to wear my chanel mini flap it's like really casual comfy outfit and then for perfume i feel like i really need like a new perfume i have so many different perfumes um but you know like do you ever wear perfume so much that you go off of it like so many of my perfumes i've done that with but um i love this it's erin and it's called amber musk it's beautiful like it's such a nice scent for just sort of every day this is my favorite i actually haven't had it very long and look how much i've used like, I need the big bottle. I love, do you know what, so many of their fragrances. So nice. Anyway, um, why am I always out of breath? Like, it's actually an issue. Your girl needs to go to the gym. Can we also just take a moment for my skin? Like, my skin is really skinning at the moment. And I am just, I've said it so many times, I'm beyond happy with it. By the way, I plucked off my eyebrows. Not sure how I'm feeling about that. I don't know why, but um, a couple of days ago, I just looked at myself in the mirror and thought, wow, your eyebrows are too bushy. And then I took the tweezers to them and suddenly I feel like they're too thin. But anyway, they will grow back. Back to my skin. It just makes me so happy. By the way, look how orange my hand is. I faked hand last night and like the colour difference. Wow. I mean, the colour difference in real life isn't as bad as it's looking on camera. But anyway, anyway, last night before I went to bed, I actually filmed my updated evening skincare routine. So I'm going to leave you with that whilst we are in a cab on the way to central and i shall see you at the shops good evening everybody you are currently on the most makeshift tripod ever you are on top of a joe malone body moisturizer a quarterly body moisturizer and a pot of optex brightening eye drops i'm turning my head to the side because that's on this side but i thought i would just do my evening skincare routine with you all because i haven't done it for a few months and um, yeah, I was just getting ready for bed. I feel like my makeup has gone so shiny today. It's also stayed on quite well as well. Anyway, the first step, I need to get some cotton wool pads, is always, of course, take my makeup off. And I use Garnier Micellar Water. I have no real like preference on which one I use. This is the aloe vera one or the aloe water, one of the, whatever it is, the blue one. By the way, I've said this every single time I do a skincare routine. Whenever I touch my face, look how red I go. And then the redness kind of like dies down within a few minutes really. But I just have that like touch sensitive skin. Okay, I'm starting to look like I'm dressed up for Halloween. My face is so pale. I need to get some tan luck drops on them. Anyway, next step is the Elemis Pro Collagen Balm. Now, you can use this to take your makeup off. I prefer to use it after I've taken my makeup off. I mean, I've just got like a little bit of like excess makeup on my skin. It smells like you're at a spa and I just massage it into my skin. Once that is complete, I rinse my face. When my face is still wet, I then go in with a double cleanse with this cleanser, which is from Skin and Me. This is what it looks like. This is my, must be like fourth one of these, but a little bit really goes along way and i just massage that into my skin as well this hasn't got any fragrance in it at all and it's just a really really gentle cleanser so i've let my face completely dry and this is my skin in its rawest state i'm not saying i look the cutest version of myself right now but I am so incredibly happy with my skin. If you saw how my skin has been at various stages through my late teens and 20s, this skin is incredible. Like I never thought I would get here to be fair. Um, I have had a little bit of a breakout on my forehead, which are probably the first spots I've had in the best part of four months, which I can't really get over. I have like the odd breakout around my mouth when it comes to like the time of the month. But as I said, my skin used to have constant breakouts at any time of the month and I could never really control it. And over the years, I have tried so many different types of skincare from over the counter things to just products that you can buy like in the drugstore. I have been to skin doctors. I have done the most. And although some things like they do actually help a bit, it never really worked long term and I never saw like that great results. I still had mild acne and was never really confident or happy with my skin. And then 
I saw this brand called Skin and Me. So I went onto the Skin and Me website and you have to do a consultation where it asks you all different questions about your skin. So obviously I went through and answered them and it said things like, what are your worries when it comes to your skin? What things would you like to improve? And obviously mine was kind of skin texture to get rid of blemishes and spots and also work on like fine lines and wrinkles. I mean, guys, I am 30 in less than six months. So that is a big priority as well. But there's a variety of different kind of questions it asks you. And then once you've completed the questionnaire, it gets reviewed by the dermatology team at Skin and Me and then they design skincare for you and it comes in this little tube and that's the difference between skin and me and other skincare brands of course you can like go into boots and you can go and buy some skincare but it's gonna be the same skincare for everyone but we don't all have the same skin you know where with this it's designed to suit you so the ingredients in my daily doser this is the daily doser would be different to the ingredients in most of yours because we have different skin we have different skin goals and it's designed and personalized to suit you. And honestly, it must be my fifth or sixth month of using the Daily Doser. This is my current one. I do have an empty one for some reason in my um, wash bag, which was from a trip that I went on a little while ago. And I actually got a new one come through the post because I haven't actually got many nights of this one left. So it comes to your door in packaging like this. You receive a new daily doser every single month. Then the way you use it is every night you twist it like this until you hear it click. Did you hear that click? You then wipe the excess off of the top and then you just apply it evenly to your face. And I like to do a little bit on my neck as well. And then you just rub it in how you would any other cream. And it is as simple as that. My skincare routine used to be so much longer. It used to be full of so many different products. And now it's simpler than it's ever been before. But my skin, I promise you guys, is the best it has been like forever. It really is. It genuinely is. So once it's all rubbed in, you now just leave it for 10 minutes. By the way, the redness of my skin will calm down in a moment. But you now just leave it before applying some moisturizer. It just lets the product really soak in and go to work. I've used it every single night since I got it. I mean, there might have been a few nights I got paralytically drunk and may have forgotten, but we won't talk about that. But I have been using it religiously and my skin has never thanked me more for it. Skin and Me have actually given me a discount code, which gets you guys your first daily doser for only £3.50, guys. That is extremely affordable. And it's also a really great way to just give it a try. And if it doesn't work, I really believe it's going to work though. But if it doesn't, or you don't like the product, you haven't wasted loads of money on it. £3.50, you've given it a go. Anyway, the last step is moisturizer. And there is this one from Skin and Me, which I do use, but I usually use it when I'm traveling just because it's only a little tube, but you can use any moisturizer. And what I like to do is I just like to completely cover my face in this, just for lots of hydration. And of course, not forgetting my neck as well. And then a little bit of Elizabeth Arden eight hour on my lips. And that is my evening skincare routine. It's actually very quick and simple, although it might not seem that way because I've been talking um, like a motor mouth the entire time, but it is. It's just literally cleanse, my skin and me doser, moisturizer, and that is it. Give it a go, let me know how you get on, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog. We have just got to the restaurant and sat next to an orange tree. The orange is perfect. Um, I hope you enjoyed that little skincare routine. I have been very like, consistent with my routine just recently and it's really paid off. I know my skin isn't perfect, definitely not perfect, um, but for me it's so much better than it was. Um, anyway, we've just ordered some food, we've gone all out, we've done a breakfast, some pancakes, the area is so cute where we are. What area of London are we in again? Okay, I actually haven't been around this area of London at all really. Okay, we both went for like all veggie English. We do this wherever we go for brunch. And then we've got this huge stack of um, banana pancakes. How fantastic. All of our drinks. Yeah. Well, our breakfast was absolutely shit. What would you have rated it out of 10? Um, four, five. Five? I feel like you're always so generous. I'd have given mine like a three and a half. The pancakes were okay. The breakfast itself was actually like, well, I didn't even eat it. We're now in Covent Garden. It's so busy, but we need to go back to Bond Street. Um, 
so yeah we're not going to spend too much time here i'm literally so hot this jumper was a bad idea like or maybe i should have just worn the jumper and not the jacket or the other way around man's not hot <laughs> never hot i can't even take the jumper off because my top underneath is so creased look guys the christmas lights are up like what the hell can you believe how quick this year has gone Street is stunning, beautiful, but they didn't have anything I liked, which was a little bit sad. Um, so yeah, I ended up getting a credit note. I mustn't lose the credit note because it's a paper, piece of paper, and I am so like I'm the worst person for losing stuff ever, as you well know. We're now gonna go to Selfridges um, as we're in Central, might as well, and it's not too far away. Ignore my sweaty upper lip, but can you hear what music they're playing? It's Christmas. I'm going to buy the bougiest car air freshener. It's from Diptyque. And these are all of like the smells of them. By the way, look how sparkly my ring is. I do this so often on vlog, but my majority ring. Um, yeah, I'm getting a new car on Monday, guys. So I wanted a nice air freshener to go in it. Look how gorgeous all of the Christmas collection is. Look at this little wind chime. Oh my God, I love that. Sorry, but the Christmas decorations are like fully up. I've just got home and all I can tell you is I have been so hot today in London. It's been like August. No joke, I'm having to shut my window because it's too loud when I'm filming because I have a lot of unboxings to do. Of course I do. Um, I just went to concierge and realized I had, let me show you how many parcels. Now I'm having to open the window because it is just too hot for it to be shut. So if you can hear traffic and stuff, I do apologize that it's either that or I'm just gonna be um, sweating. The building work has stopped though. So hopefully you're not gonna hear like crashing and banging. There's cranes outside, right? And they wake you up in the morning because they start building work so early. And I often sleep with the window open. And they sound like whales, like the cranes make this sort of like wailing noise, it's really weird. Anyway, I have so much to show you guys, like literally, I am surrounded by parcels. So let's start first of all with lowering you a little bit, because I feel like you're a little bit high up there. And I'm also sorry that you always see this background of my flat, like it's always the same setup. But the reason for that is because, I already mention this all the time, but like the majority of my flat is kind of a mess. And also, this is always just um, really good lighting. Even on a grey day, the lighting's okay. So that's why you're always here. So yeah, one day I will have moved and we will mix it up a little bit. Anyway, what I got from Selfridges, we went to Diptyque and I picked up... Oh, she gave me a couple of testers as well. That's cute. Um, I picked up a air freshener for my new car. Because guys, I get a new car on Monday. I'm so excited. It's like my dream car. Well, it's not quite my dream car, like but it is like my dream car, like it, it's insane. I have kind of like vlogged parts of the process, so I'm gonna be like vlogging it and stuff on Monday. But a very bougie car air freshener, but I thought, you know what, I'm gonna treat myself. This is my first like new car in four years. I had my Audi TT for four years, can you believe it? It kind of feels like it was longer than that though, you know? Um, so yeah, I got this one and I saw it online and everyone says it's amazing. It was super overpriced, but once you've bought the like dispenser thing, then you can just get refills. Sorry, just a couple of Lamborghinis just driving past like supersonic speed and making loads of noise. Um, so yeah, that was the first thing I picked up. And then the other two things I picked up were just a red um, lipstick from MAC and a lip liner. The lipstick is in the shade Ladybug and it was funny. You know the other day when I was here, there was Ladybug on my window. There's another one on my window just now as well. I must be attracting ladybugs. And then the um, lip liner is called Cherry. I just got that because tonight we're dressing up for Halloween and I'm dressing up as a clown. And I probably have got a red lipstick kicking around somewhere, but I was a little bit worried it was going to be dried out. So I picked those up just in case. And then, oh, what should I show you? I got stuff in Paris to show you. Or should I unbox some of the stuff I seem to have accumulated through the post? Let's do that. I don't know what some of this stuff is myself. Oh my goodness look at this how weird is this i just said i bought these things from mac 
and look what has just come through the post from Mac. Guys, I don't think you will ever understand the feeling I get when I get packages from Mac. Like, I used to spend all of my money, I mean, I still am, um, on Mac makeup. I'm still a Mac girl through and through. It's my favorite lip liner, lip gloss. Um, I still love their foundation. I use their eyebrow pencil every day. They're just the best. And um, yeah, when I get sent stuff from them, I'm literally like, what the hell? There is literally so much red lipstick in here, guys, for Christmas. And I have just bought blooming red lipsticks. Oh, well, do you know what I'm going to do? I've just announced the winners, actually. I will have by the time this video um, comes out of my last beauty giveaway that I did on YouTube. Well, I'm going to do another one because I still have so much stuff left. And this... Maybe not this, but some of, like, I'll gift you some of the lipsticks because I do not need that many red lipsticks. How cute is this? It must be one of their Christmas gift sets. It comes in this little pot, like this. And then you take it off. And inside we have every red lipstick MAC has ever done. So we've got Ruby New. If any of you are MAC fans, you know that Ruby Woo is one of the most kind of, there it is, one of the most classic reds. A bit of a controversial one. I don't really love it. The reason why is Ruby Woo is a little bit too um, matte for me. I actually can't believe I've just been sent all of these red lipsticks. And I just bought them. Anyway, that was a very nice surprise. <laughs> Next we have an order that I placed on... It must have been last Sunday from Look Fantastic. And I've been waiting for it, thinking it was taking forever. And it turns out it's been sat concierge all week. Which is completely my fault. So, I actually used my own discount code. I don't know if that's illegal. Like, obviously I'm not gonna get sent to prison for it, but yeah, I used my own code because why the hell not? So, I actually got loads of stuff. Can you see everything in here? So what I got, I got a Kerastase, I actually thought this was gonna be a much bigger bottle, but I got a Kerastase Dull Hair Oil because I feel like my hair is not dull at the moment, but I feel like it could just do with an oil, you know? I then got this mask from Kerastase. I read up about it. And it sounded really good. Another thing that I use from Kerastase all of the time is this. This is their heat protecting mask. I use this every single day on my hair. Sorry, I've got like a hair on the end of my nose. I'm not picking my nose. I just have a hair. But I use this every single day before I blow dry my hair, if my hair's wet. Um, and it's brilliant. And then I picked up this. Guys, if any of you have greasy hair, this is what you need in your life. It's so good. It's like a thick kind of clay mask, but you put it on your root. And then you use it as a shampoo and it helps with greasy hair so much. I used to use it and then ran out and I've noticed such a difference since not been using it. So I got another pot of that. I then got this Kerastase shampoo as well. I mean, I really went all out with the Kerastase stuff. And then I got, oh, I got this um, little concealer. When I went to Paris with my friend Alice, she had this concealer and it was so good. You know when you go away with your friends, if you're like getting ready with your friends and you're all kind of like looking at what each other's using like when it comes to makeup. Well, that's what I did when I was with her. And yeah, it's from a brand called Kevin Kwan. I think that's how you say it. Maybe I'm saying that wrong. I've never actually heard of the brand before, but she was shocked I hadn't heard of it. But it was such a nice concealer. So I picked that up because they sell it on Look Fantastic. I then got another um, banana low lighter from Rodeo. I reckon this is my 15th one of these. Probably slight exaggeration. But I've definitely gone through like six. They are so good. It's like my favourite like under eye brightener concealer. It's brilliant and I've completely run out of mine. And then I also got this um, Lanage. How do you say this brand? Please someone tell me in the comments. How do you say this brand? But I got this lip balm. Because whenever it was I placed this order, I had really dry lips. I still do have kind of dry lips, but I wanted a lip balm that was also like a lip gloss. And this had really good reviews. So I'm going to give it a go and I'll let you know if it lives up to the reviews. I've actually got like something on my lips right now, so I'm not going to use it. But yeah, I've heard really good things about that. So that should be good. And I also got a new brow pencil. I just told you guys I always use the MAC brow pencils. I use it in the shade Lingering and I needed a new one. So that's everything I got from Look Fantastic. I feel like we're gonna be here a long time. Okay, next. So let me show you what I got in Paris. It's a good one. You guys are gonna to wanna to see what's in this bag. So I also feel like I need to explain about like Paris. I didn't vlog. I kind of explained at the beginning of this vlog the reasons I didn't vlog. And I'm kind of gutted about it, but I'm hoping to go back soon and properly kind of vlog the trip. Um, yeah, it was such a good time, but we just spent most of it working and 
I just felt like when I'm stressed, I find it really hard to vlog at the same time. And I was just kind of stressed most of that trip, I can't lie. Even though Alice and I had fun, it wasn't like, it, it was work, you know. We did a little bit of shopping and I actually posted on my Instagram about tax-free shopping in Paris. And everyone was like, what? You didn't even know about this. But basically, don't quote me on everything I'm saying. But since Brexit, I believe it's since Brexit, um, any countries in Europe that we can go to. So if you live in the UK and then you travel to like, let's say Spain, for example, or you go to France or anywhere like that, Italy, and you buy anything that's like, I think it is basically anything you can do it to, but obviously most people are doing it to designer things because obviously they're of a high price tag. If you buy anything out there, you're able to claim the tax back on that item at the airport. It's kind of like, well, it's tax-free shopping at the end of the day. So that's why everyone is wanting to shop in Paris, in Milan, and all of those places right now if you're from the UK because it's so much cheaper than buying it in like London, for example. So it's so simple as well. All you do is you shop like normal, you make sure you have your passport with you, and then once you're at the till and you're purchasing the item you want, you just mention to the sales assistant you need a tax return form. They know exactly what you're talking about. Well, in Cartier, the lady, like, she asked me if I needed one, to be fair. I said, yes, please, you give your passport, and then I think it's, like, your, your card details. And with their, like, when you get your receipt, they actually give you two receipts. So you get... I don't know where my other one is now, honestly. I can't even tell you the nightmare I had with this. I'm going to tell you the story after. But um, yeah, they give you two receipts. And one of the receipts looks like this. And this is your tax return. You keep hold of this. And then when you get to the airport, or even I went on the Eurostar. So when you get to the Eurostar, you go through, I think it's passport control. And then afterwards, it is definitely, yeah. So once you're through, then you, there's like these little machines that kind of look like ATMs. We were kind of thinking there was going to be a queue for them, but there wasn't. And then you literally just go up to the ATM and you scan. There's a little barcode on there, if you see, like, this little bit here. You scan it and the money, so, like, the tax on this goes back into your own bank account. Like, I'm sorry. I would love to have bought Chanel bags out there. I'd have loved to have bought so much stuff. But if, if I'm honest, shopping in Paris wasn't really the best experience. Um, Van Cleef, I really wanted to get a new, like, necklace from Van Cleef. Um, there's been a price increase there as well. They didn't really have any stock at all, which was a little bit rubbish. The queues were crazy everywhere. The staff in Chanel, I mean, I've never experienced someone being so rude to a lady behind us in the queue. Like, they were literally moving the barrier in front of her. Like, it's literally a story for another day. But the, the rudeness we experienced was wild. Um, yeah, I just didn't really love the shopping experience, but if, if it had have been good, like, you know, if you could get into the shops and there wasn't crazy queues and all the rest of it, oh my goodness. And also if they had what you wanted, like, I felt that a lot of places, I kind of loved a, a um, beige Chanel bag, couldn't get hold of it. So yeah, if they had what you wanted, you could save yourself so much money, but the shopping experience, unfortunately, wasn't great. I have shopped there years ago, like, let's say three years ago. And the shopping was amazing. The experience was so good. So maybe it was just the time we went. It was probably like, I don't know if it was just before half time or it was half time. It was crazy busy. So maybe if I went back, my experience would be a little bit different. But anyway, that's enough babbling on. This is what I got from Cartier. So I have like a wish list on my phone of all of the things that I'm wishing for. Well, it's not even wishing for, it's working for. You know, all of the things that I'd really like. And this was a piece that's been on my wish list for ages. I always say that, and you guys always take the mick out of me, but it's true. My wish list is always very extensive, um, and it still is. It's never ending, to be honest. But I'm always grateful for everything I'm able to get. And as I could get hold of this tax free, I felt like it was just like the opportunity I needed to buy it. So, as always, it comes in the beautiful Cartier packaging. And then inside, we have one of the iconic Cartier boxes. Let me just check it's not like fallen down. No, we're good, we're good. And then inside of here, shall I do the grand reveal? Is the Just Enclue, please ignore my terrible pronunciation, but we have the Just Enclue necklace. So this is the one that has the diamonds on like the top of the screw head and then at the end as well. It actually matches my ring that I got a little while ago. And of course I have the Just Enclue um, bangle as well. I absolutely love this collection from Cartier. 
sometimes I think I love it more. I actually have the, the skinny one as well. Oh my God, I've gone a little bit crazy. But um, I think I sometimes love it even more than the Love collection, which I guess the Love is definitely um, Cartier's most iconic collection. But I just feel like the um, Justin Clue is a little bit more edgy. Not that I'm calling myself edgy, but I just feel like it's a little bit... Yeah, I just feel like it's a little bit more edgy, basically. And I absolutely adore this necklace. I have worn it already. I wore it out the other night. I'll pop it on and show you guys how it looks on. By the way, I went for um, the one in yellow gold. This does come in... I don't know if it comes in um, white gold, but it definitely comes in rose gold. And it also comes... Um, in full parve so you can get one that's the whole screw is covered in diamonds i did actually try that on but as someone who absolutely loves jewelry who loves diamonds and i i, I just i've said it so many times i adore jewelry so much i actually felt like the parve one was too too much for me for every day and i always love my jewelry pieces to be things that i can wear all of the time like i don't have to take them off and I just felt it was a bit much. Um, it was beautiful, don't get me wrong, but I actually preferred this version. So this is it on. I love it. I think it's so nice. I love how it matches my ring. And it's really comfortable to wear as well. I would say that the, um, like the pendant is so much heavier than the chain. And the chain does feel quite thin. But hopefully it should be fine. And I feel like it's quite like a statement piece, but at the same time, it's quite subtle. So that is what I picked up in Paris. I didn't actually get anything else, guys. I wanted to get a um, Hermes bag, as everyone does if they go to Paris. Well, not everyone, but, you know. Oh, and I also have a story to tell you about the receipts, the um, tax receipt. I'm going to tell this story really quick, so sorry if I'm talking really fast, but I feel like I've spoken too much. So... We had to check out of our hotel room really, really, really quick because my friend actually was super lucky and she got an appointment at Hermes. She did get a bag. I don't really want to tell you too much about it because she was probably going to do something on her own Instagram. But yeah, she got a bag. Anyway, um, we checked out our hotel so quick we needed to make this appointment. And in the rush, I left my tax return um, receipt, this receipt, in the hotel room. We got back to the hotel and we were going to get the Eurostar and I realized I'd left it in the room. So we said to um, the receptionist, can we go back in the room? They said, sorry, the cleaners have been in. We said, did the cleaners hand anything in? And they said, no. I was thinking, oh my God, like this is the receipt you need to get your tax back on this. And I was thinking without that, I'm gonna pay full price for this. Like, and I just can't believe it's happened. With that, had no option, couldn't get hold of the receipt, so we made our way to the station. It was a Saturday. Paris traffic is insane. We ended up missing our train. Can you believe it? And then we were like looking online for the next trains. The next train was booked up and the tickets were £300 each. We I mean, we'd already paid to get there, so we were just like, this is just crazy. So we went in the station, obviously thinking we're gonna have to pay for a new train. We went to the desk and they said, the next train is full, but we can get you on the train after that. So we were like, right, okay, great. Thinking we were gonna have to pay. And you don't have to pay if you miss your train on Eurostar. I didn't know that, but shout out to Eurostar for that great ruling because that was fantastic. But now we had like three hours to kill because our train was meant to go at four, we missed it. And now our next train wasn't till seven. So in the meantime, we were just sat in this cafe. And to be fair, Alice, my friend, had this grand idea of why don't I call Cartier and go and see if I can get the receipt. Cut the longest story short. I managed to get to Cartier. They printed me a new receipt. I had to queue jump all of these people who had been standing in line for an hour. Um, but anyway, they allowed me to get a new receipt and I got my tax back on my necklace. So guys, if any of you do any tax-free shopping, when you're in these countries, make sure you hang on to these blooming receipts because honestly, it was an ordeal and quite traumatic. Now, my next parcel is absolutely huge and it is so heavy. Can we just take a moment for this? I feel like it's gonna get dirt all over my top as well. I actually have an idea of what this might be because I'm so excited for it. So this is the Flannels Christmas Beauty Advent Calendar and it weighs a blooming ton. Let me tell you, it is so heavy. It's insane. Now, I absolutely love this whole idea of these advent calendars where in the lead up to Christmas, if I can never get this off, you can open one of these things. I feel like they're such a good kind of like treat to yourself gift. And it's also, you know, like for Christmas where you want to buy yourself a present. Instead of that, get yourself one of these good advent calendars. And then every day on the lead up to Christmas, you get a present. Like how insane is that? 
So this one is one that has a full 25 days. I've seen some of them that only have 12 days, which is always sad. Um, but I feel like the 12 day ones, sometimes the gifts inside are a little bit better. Now this is all beauty. So, I mean, I probably shouldn't do this. I feel like it's bad luck. Uh, let's not say that. Let me open some of it up. Okay, so I don't want to open it all because it's going to be a surprise for me as well. What day should we open? Okay, let's just do the first because, I mean, it's not going to be long until I actually know what's inside here anyway. Okay, so in here, they have these little cards actually. So this is a Augustinus. How the hell do you say that brand? Honestly, I need to like Google how you say brands before I embarrass myself online. Augustinus Bader the cream i know the brand i just can't say it i have been wanting stuff from this brand for so long i'm not just making this up i genuinely have but it's so flipping expensive you actually get like a full-size bottle as well how good is that this is the cream with t f c a la cream hydrate i'm really selling it aren't i i've heard so much good stuff about this and I feel like this is like, I might be wrong. This is like 60 quid, no? This is the thing with these advent calendars, you know? They are actually really good value for money. If you get the right one, actually. I think some of them are a bit shit. But like this one, I've heard really good things about. Let's, should we open some more? Let's see what's like in this one. This is the 11th. And this is, oh, this is Medicate Crystal Retinol 3. This is also really, really, really good skincare and also a really like decent sized bottle. Anyway, I need to clear this up and I need to get ready because we're going to a Halloween party in two hours. And um, yeah, I need to turn myself into a clown. <laughs> I am already a clown. Um, no, I need to turn myself into a clown. So um, I shall see you when I have done that. <laughs> why is my face always so shiny that is what i want to know good morning everyone it is the morning after the night before <laughs> we had a really good night last night i didn't really take any footage of the party because you know most people don't want to be on the internet or be on a vlog so yeah it was very good fun i feel a little bit hungover today i can't lie i just got myself ready because i have one of my close friends gender reveal parties which is very exciting um and i'm really really hot in my outfit but it's a neutral vibe and i don't really have many we have lots of neutral clothes but like at the same time i don't so this is what we're doing and i also have like my boots on you know my naked fashion boots by the way even though i was really drunk last night i still remembered somehow to take off my makeup and of course use my skin and me dose up somehow after 25 vodkas i still managed to do it um just a little reminder that i do obviously have the code for skin and me and if you're interested give it a go three pound fifty can't really go wrong um i just want to say a massive thank you so much for watching this video i have the sweatiest top lip and i feel like i've had it so much during this video as well i'm sending you guys so much love and i shall hopefully see you in my next one take care bye bye